We've all imagined it. If you could build your dream house, what would that look like? A space that inspires you, calms you, and ultimately helps you live your best life? We've asked today's hottest designers to make this their mission. We want to create an area of serenity. Each design team will take a room from studs to the finishing touches. And we want to create a space that's unique, inviting, and a ton of fun. Showing you how to make every corner of your space work harder, better, and more beautifully than you ever thought it could. Make a statement. I'm Carisha Swanson from House Beautiful, and we are building the dream in Nashville. Our next designer, Christine Page Kamensen, is based in Los Angeles, California, and runs Jackson Page Interiors. You can imagine, if you can look through okay. this cabinet, you're gonna see your TV, you'll see your oh, indoor, yeah. outdoor, it's gonna be terrific. Her work has appeared in Lux, Traditional Home, and California Homes magazines. She believes that a beautiful space can be personally transformative and designs homes that are inspiring, practical, and refreshing respites from the world. Christine will be taking over the master bedroom, her mission is to create a room that promotes restfulness and intimacy. She flew from Los Angeles to Nashville to see her room for the first time. So we've just come into what's gonna be your master bedroom. Yep. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love the vaulted ceiling. Of course, I knew it was a vaulted ceiling, but when you get in the space and you feel it, it's just such a different experience. Yeah. Huh? Did you imagine the arch was gonna be like this? No, I didn't. It's really lovely. It's soft and it's subtle and it's yet it's dramatic. So yeah. I think it's a perfect combination for a master bedroom. Yeah. And you have here um, actually a little hallway that yes. separates you from the main space, which is kind of great. Right off of this space is kind of the family social Absolutely. area. When you're initially walking in, do you feel like there's gonna be any design challenges in this space? I just wanna be able to have space enough to create like a, a seating area that doesn't feel cramped. Right, right. And feels very like luxurious. I mean, th there's always challenges, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> I think I can manage them. I'm here in sunny California visiting Christine Page Kamenstein of Jackson Page Interiors. Let's go check out what she's up to and how she's creating serenity in our master bedroom. Here we are, and I want to know kind of what you decided to do with this master bedroom. We really wanted to make a space that was the escape for the for grown-ups okay. in the house. We wanted it to be this area of serenity, of like reconnecting with both yourself and your spouse, yeah. away from the children, away from cooking, <laughs> away from dogs, cats, homework, everything. Yes. Our jumping off point is Philip Jeffrey's wallpaper called Flight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we went with the very neutral palette. It comes in lots of different colors. But we went with the grays and the white and black just to keep it look, feeling like you're in the clouds. Okay. We paired it with a Benjamin Moore pearlescent white paint on the ceiling. Nice. So you get a little sheen to that, even though that the wallpaper is a little more matte. Okay. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and as we continue to develop our color palette, we really wanted to play with the idea of balance. So we have some softer tones, we have some of the beautiful blushes and pinks. Sure. Um, but we really wanted to bring in some darker colors, some blacks, some grays, to offer some balance to that as well. Yes. Um, so you can see we brought in, with the area rug here, we have the black, the white, and the pink. And then we brought in some bright colors for uh, the headboard. Yeah and really a lot of texture and pattern. This was a little area um, inlet with a soffit and three beautiful windows looking out to the side yard and the backyard. Okay. And we wanted to take advantage of that and we created this super long window seat, so it's 10 feet long. Okay. And put drapery all the way across the wall so that you could go into this area, close off the world, read in there, yeah. meditate, just hide from the rest of the world. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and there's space for two. Now that we have some details on her design, we're going to the Pacific Design Center in West Hollywood. Our first stop is Samuel & Sons. They're known for their amazing trimmings, essentially the finishing touches, for custom fabric and upholstery. Their selection of nearly 15,000 tassels, borders, fringes, and more in a variety of materials have made them a go-to shop for designers. Well, I wanted to come here to get trim for some of the pillows we have a 10 foot long window seat. Oh my. <laughs> so we have a lot of pillows. So the drapery, we first had to keep in mind that we have this beautiful Philip Jeffries mural wall covering. Okay. It's subtle because it's in hue, like grays and blacks and white, but it's powerful okay. because it's just dramatic. It's gorgeous, but it's very quiet. Okay. So I wanted to bring in color with the fabrics. Yeah. 
without going overboard. So we went right on the colors, but not a ton of it. Yeah, yeah. So that was the that was the concept. Okay. So our drapes are actually a black charcoal gray black linen. Oh, that's so dramatic. It's very <laughs> dramatic. Yes. And we're going as high as possible. Okay. Um, and so the trim that we decided upon it's gorgeous and it's white and this Samuel and Sons. So this whole like diamond line. trim. Yeah, so we're doing, well we're only doing, we're doing an inch inset from the leading edge. Oh. Just going all the way down. Yes. And then we have Roman shades, so we're doing it just on the bottom part of the Roman okay, shade. Okay, to connect the two. To connect okay. the two. Okay. And we wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic at first, so I'll show you those. And then I'm dying to use this one on another project. Oh, this is beautiful. Isn't that stunning? Yes. <laughs> But we felt we felt that with the wallpaper, it just was too busy mm -hmm. with because it's so dramatic on its own. It's that almost makes like you need a quieter wallpaper right. to use that. So we did decide on this diamond, which is so elegant and so beautiful. So that's our Sorry, drape. Bye. <laughs> See you next project. For the window seat on a couple of the pillow fabrics, on this one by Pierre Frey. Oh, this is has so a great. Really cool deco look to it. it. Has our color palette, which is this golden rod black, white, and the rose pink. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to go with something a little bit rock and roll, a little bit funkier, and so we chose this leather welting. Oh, so nice. Really yeah. sharp and cool, but not too powerful. Right. And then we have our restaurant palette, and then in the window seat too, we are introducing this kind of Merlot color. Okay. Um, and along with that, we have this iridescent pink. This is so pretty. I found this, I don't know how it's humanly possible, but <laughs> look at this color. These are like the finishing touches. Finishing touches. Right, right. Yes. It's all in the details, it's as they say. All in the details. <laughs> Just down the hall, we're going to check out Philip Jeffrey's wall coverings. They began working in grass cloth and now stock and customize a massive variety of natural, textured, and specialty wall coverings. Oh, here it is, the flight paper. Oh, it's How beautiful. How beautiful is this? It's soft and it's subtle, but it's completely dramatic. Yes. Um, and that's what we wanted, but we wanted it definitely to be a soft palette because look at our bed. Our bed is bright and saturated. Oh, fully, yes, right. that's a real color. It's a real color. <laughs> it's a real color. And we have so many other colors going on in the right. window seat and with the upholstery that we really wanted, but we didn't want to take away from the wallpaper, which is just so spectacular. And this is amazing. This is a linen. This is a linen. This comes on <laughs> linen, but you, it comes in other pa papers, too. You can choose. You yeah. can say, I want this pattern on another paper. Let me show you. Oh, and you can do it without the birds. So this so is... clouds. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> just floating around in my room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a nice way to go to bed. This is it on a washi, a zen washi paper. So like, I mean, the process of deciding I know. the colors, because I think this, which one was it? I think this comes in a few palettes, you said. It does, look at it right here. Look at all those colors. Oh I yeah. Mean, it's so beautiful. I mean, talk about saturation. Right. Those two. So you had to decide on this palette, and then yes. you've got to decide on the paper. On the paper, <laughs> exactly. It's really, really hard. Across the street is Woven, a vibrant rug gallery that offers unique one-of-a-kind rugs ranging from refined vintage to storied antique and cool contemporary styles. So this is Woven, yes. where we found our area rug. But actually, it was my associate designer driving by in LA traffic, <laughs> and she happened to look up, and she's, that's the rug we've been searching for. Oh, dude, that's it. Showed me a picture, and <laughs> it was the rug. This is it. And this is it. Oh, wow. How beautiful is this? I love this. I love it, too. It's contemporary chic, but it has, there's a sort of an art deco feel to it. Um, it's made of aloe and linen with some silk. I can see how like the black that's in your drapery is picked up here, how mm -hmm. all those kind of different colors of pink are picked up here. Absolutely. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. So is this then, like is this a place you come for rugs? Yeah, well they have an incredible selection of contemporary rugs that okay. they started about two years ago. And I mean the textures and the materials that they use, you can go custom where they have obviously like beautiful things already that they've right, designed. Right, right. And they're also very well known for their array of antique rugs that they've sourced from all over the world sure. for many years. So it is, you know, I guess a designer's dream. Right so are we taking this now? You're taking it <laughs> on your flight. <laughs> on my flight. <laughs> No, we're actually <laughs> trucking it out yes. to Nashville. Perfect. I yes. can't wait to see this in its face. I can't either. <laughs> Thanks so much, Christine. <laughs> and with that, we're ready. Christine and Colby head back to Nashville to pull it all together. My favorite element in the room is it has to be the wallpaper. I mean, you walk in and it's just such an immersive experience. It's gorgeous and it's just very striking. My favorite part of our room would be a combination of two things 
the wallpaper because of everything the Colby Ray said. It's just serene and beautiful, but it's edgy a little bit. Edgy, and I like that. So it's that combined with the color palette. I don't think I've even gone through the whole thing. I really either. just put it some of today. <laughs> the pillows. Smoothing out the rug. We've got a couple little bumps. Once the bed goes down, it gets a lot harder. I think the one thing that we were nervous about throughout was the actual mattress arriving. We thought it was all going to go. We everything. Be very seamless. But um, upon arriving in Nashville, we were told that it was not actually in Nashville. So that was, yeah. I think, maybe the greatest challenge. I can't believe it. <laughs> I really am sorry. I totally did not have faith that it was going to get here tonight. We just received it. Just received you know, it, right? Yeah. You need a great bed. You need a great mattress. It's always wonderful to just sit in bed and feel like you're completely supported and mm -hmm. relaxed and and great if you have like a vibrant color like we have. It's like something fun about it. But calm with a little personality. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. Let's give it a shot. Ready? Let's yeah. check it out. Ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> oh, oh God. God. It was oh, worth the wait. So worth the wait. This is incredible. Are you ready to see the room? Absolutely. Here you go. Oh, Christine. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you. And I want to run and leap on your amazing bed here. Don't you dare. <laughs> I just want to throw it myself and at it. Right Don't you dare. So, so you've got some really cool things going on here. And this, I have to tell you, I've never seen a palette like this. This is such a fun mix of color. We wanted to do that. I, I love using color, but I love using it judiciously. I don't like like the walls necessarily being like one solid color. Right, right. But I love having fun with color. And I yeah. know, because I got to see your floor plan, that you've got uh -huh. some really fun and unexpected pieces. Like this, this is not an end table. No, it's not an end table. <laughs> it's a bar cart. I because love what else should you have by your bed? I mean, really, right? <laughs> yeah, and then we knew that we were getting a very luscious uh, mattress. Right. So the height of it worked out well. And speaking of, like this bedding <gasps> is everything. Yes, it's Matuk and I am in love. The like piece of resistance in here. No. This. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> it's so good. I am absolutely in awe of this wallpaper. I mean, I've seen a panel of it. Right. Again, they installed it. I got it like a photo of one wall, but I didn't see it, the envelopment, yes. until I walked in the room and I was like... Do you want this in your own house? <laughs> yes, of course I do. We wanted you to be able to shut off the world yeah. and really come in here and have that experience with your spouse, with yourself, right. and really just feel transported a little bit. So speaking of, is that what this whole moment over here is about? Can we go over here? We can go over here, <laughs> and that is the moment. Yes. That is the moment. It'll be such a beautiful place to just sit down, yeah. look at you know your whole lawn, and also just read. Sit here and read and right. take the time to yourself or meditate. And that's another thing, while we wanted to drape the entire thing across, as opposed to doing just Roman shades or something. Right, right. Because, first of all, I love the scale of the drapery Amazing, and the, yes. the ceilings are so beautiful. Um, but we wanted you to be able to really like close yourself away mm -hmm. and have that little total private corner. Yeah, I would know? love to do that right now. I would too! <laughs> So stressful in construction. One so. of the most amazing things I had to comment on this, like your pants match this room. <laughs> you know, it's funny how design impresses upon your life. Like right. I find this all the time that I'll be doing a, a client presentation and I wear the same color. And it's not, I don't mean to, I'm just, th th that color is in my mind. Right. Okay, there's one more piece I have to show you. Okay, definitely. So we found this amazing console through Jason Home who we love to use, and it meant so much to me to use it, not only just because, again, it's unexpected, it's right. a very heavy piece compared to the ethereal qualities of the wallpaper, but they repurpose these steel tubes oh. and put it together into this incredible console. I mean, you can literally like look through it. Oh, this is like a kid's dream. Isn't it so? <laughs> this is really about rest and relaxation. That's what that's all it's about. I would argue that one of the most important rooms in any home is the master bedroom. It's where the owners, the adults of the house, get to really come down and relax. It's gotta be a place of restfulness, recovery, and intimacy. And quite frankly, having spaces outside of the public space of your house is so important. When people walk in, 
I'd like them to feel a sense of wonder, really. What Jackson Page Interiors has done here is really create a space that you can just go, ah, in. I want them to feel like a sense of calmness, but then also that kind of like sexy intimacy feeling. Am I ready to lay down? 100%. And quite frankly, I need you to go so I can.